Good evening, everyone. The moments before touchdown were tense, but tonight, more than 400,000 kilometers from the Earth, a U.S. spacecraft is on the moon, the first time in more than half a century. Built by an American company, it's now the first private lander to reach the lunar surface, touching down on the South Pole, where NASA eventually wants to send astronauts. As our equipment is on the surface of the moon, and we are transmitting. And let's bring in CTV's science and technology specialist, Dan Riskin, now. And what a nail-biter this was. And I know you had the same reaction that I did, which is, okay, they're clapping, but it wasn't a massive celebration. Why was that applause so muted? It was muted, and I think it's because they weren't getting that beautiful signal. It, it was supposed to land, go silent for a few seconds, and then announce its arrival. And instead, they had a much longer silence and then a weak signal. And they weren't really clear where it was or what its status was. So they were glad that it landed. But I think they, they were hoping for a, a little bit of a clearer picture of what happened. Now, Dan, just getting a lander on the moon is a, a huge deal. But what exactly will it do? Well, the plan is, if everything's working, it collected a ton of data on landing, and so those data need to be sent back, and it'll last about a week until the sun sets. And the thing about the moon is that it takes 15 days for nighttime to go by, and then 15 days of sunlight. And so that sort of winter, almost, that dark night, is going to be too much for this lander. So it's really only intended to do about a week of data collection after that landing. Um, but the real question is whether all the beautiful data from the landing itself are going to get sent back. Well, will it actually come here. And this, of course, isn't just about bragging rights, right? There's a lot of money at stake as well. Yeah, I mean, NASA gave $118 million to Intuitive Machines to do this mission, and there's a lot more money where that came from to try to help NASA build their instruments for that Artemis mission. And so that's one piece of it. And of course, the moon has all kinds of, you know, minerals that could be mined. And so there's big money in space exploration. And I think we're going to see a lot more activity in that direction. All right, we'll be watching. Dan Riskin, thank you so much for this tonight. Thank you.